stop. What's all this about? Hmm? You want to go to the Jade Chamber? Who are you? Well, as it happens, I am one of the Liyue Chising. I'm Kuching, the Yuhung of the Chising. I know of you, Traveler. You're Ningguang's guests, yes? Didn't expect to meet you here in the mountains. The Guizhong Ballista in Tianhung Pass has long been in disrepair. And yet, it was fixed in a single night. I came here to investigate that occurrence. These Millilith are just here to guard the scene, not to arrest anyone. Anyway, for a mortal to be able to repair an Adepti mechanism is quite the mystery. Even to the Qixing. Just call me Kuching. I'd say that Ningguang's purpose is to request that the savior of Mondstadt take a more neutral stance. Or at least, to not wholly side with the Adepti. When you say protect, you're referring to their sanctimonious arrogance, aren't you? You are mortals and thus under their protection. There was no way they would have regarded you as someone with the ability to assassinate a god. Naturally, they would also regard Ningguang's locking down the area, questioning the citizenry, and pursuit of the assassin to be pointless work. Perhaps they even wonder if there might be a cover-up. I'll say it like it is. They're underestimating us. <laughs> Should I respect the shallow sense of time and condescension to mortals that has caused them to delay in moving against us, Qixing? Forget it. I shouldn't speak of them this way. This skepticism is mine alone, and Ningguang does not share it. Either way, I will admit that the actions of the Adepti this time were quite restrained. Rex Lapis's death is indeed an extraordinary circumstance. But to think that they would call for a council of Adepti rather than come down here directly... How surprisingly civilized of them. Well, for Ningguang, she would talk anything and everything out if she could. But I doubt we can do that here. The time of the Adepti has long passed. If even the Liyue Qixing don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liyue? <sighs> I'll stop here. Honestly, I hadn't intended to say so much. But you're a good listener, Traveler. You should both be off to the Jade Chamber. Don't be late now. Ningguang's schedule is packed to the gills all the way till next year. The cream of Liyue's mercantile crop all see ascending to the Jade Chamber is the greatest honor. Each brings rich gifts as they visit, all to curry a little favor with Ningguang. All right, all right. You can decide on your greeting gift yourselves. Let me tell you how to get to the Jade Chamber first. You didn't actually have to come to Mount Tianhung. Go back to Liyue Harbor. Find a guide at the Yuahai Pavilion, and... Well then. May we meet again, Traveler. It's not just you. We've got new Millilith recruits who can't even stand at attention without shaking. The force of an ancient god's presence seems to be too much for ordinary people to handle. Which is why we must stop that monster before it gets any closer to Liyue Harbor. <laughs> Each of the Seven Nations has its own scars from the past. Traveler, the Liyue Qixing always repay their debts. And as you have heard, our eyes see far and our reach is long. Name your price. You deserve that much. <laughs> Why you? Were you just trying to look cool earlier, or are you really that selfless? If you were looking for someone, you could have just told me that in private. 